The mainstream media, it's full of shit. The online media is full of shit. This video is full of shit. It's all full of shit. Do you get what's going on here? Everything is full of shit because everything is based on their own self-interest. This video is partly based on my own self-interest because that's the system. The system is self-interest and self-interest makes all those conspiracy theories much more likely. If we had a system that wasn't based on self-interest but collective interest, things that are good for everyone, then we might be able to change the world. But here's the main point here. At-home activism is about activity and not passivity. Be active, do something, get out there. Even if it's just thinking about something and making the arrangements or reading a book about something, that is activity that we do at home. Choosing to pick up that book that has facts in it, real actual facts and not the crap that's made up because the mainstream media they only have a short period of time. They just want something that's sensational and that's gonna get viewers and that's gonna get them some revenue. That's the one thing that across the board on the right, whatever you wanna call it, the right and the left always agree that the mainstream media is full of shit because we're both correct on that. Both the right and the left are very correct that the mainstream media only has a very limited slot of time where they show you something sensational so that you watch, so that you can put on the commercials so that you can buy the whatever the crap it is. It's all bullshit. We live in a bullshit society because it's all based on self-interest. Self-interest makes everything into bullshit. Bullshit is the number one product right now. People on Wall Street, what they're doing, they're selling bullshit. This thing is maybe worth this, so I'm gonna buy it for that, You're gonna, and then they're gonna sell it for that. It's all bullshit. It's all made up crap. There's no real economy. Real economy is fruits and vegetables and water and food and, and air and a house and clothing. These are real things. The stock market is all an illusion. Activity versus inactivity. Come watch at home activism because it's going to be a real busy winter. We have to get as many people engaged as possible and keep people active versus passive. How are we gonna get them active? We find out what issues important to them. That always engages someone, whether it be climate change or it could be the crosswalk on their street. And you know what? That's a perfectly valid reason for them to be active. So liberals, progressives, whatever you wanna call yourself, keep everyone active because we don't know. Let's be honest here, nobody knows what's gonna change the world. But here's what I do know. If everyone's inactive, the world won't change. Let's get active. At home activism, thanks for watching. Hey, still feeling the burn. There's only one real dynamic here in making the world a better place is those who are active and those who are inactive. Let's face it, there's a lot of people who are inactive.